been interesting watching these restarts. These guys giving each other a lot of room after some of them were involved in that race in the nationwide race yesterday when we had a couple of accidents on the restarts. It's always a tough time after a rain delay. You're not able to reset the pressures or anything like that, so the drivers really don't know exactly what they have as far as their car goes when they drive off in that first quarter. Yeah, well, you see Kyle Busch, he didn't know what he had right there. He's way up the racetrack. Had a handful of race cars. That's yeah. what he had trying to hang on on the outside, and he makes it work. He goes by the 41 of Reed Sorensen. He's really the only guy we've seen trying to, to, to utilize, utilize that high line. He's back on the bottom right there, but he's been able to, to make some passes on the top side. See Jeff Gordon trying to pass Reed Sorensen here. Mark Martin trying to follow the 24 car through. Shannon? This rain delay was about the most eventful thing that's happened for the 24 team this weekend. Steve Letard saying pretty uneventful weekend. Their biggest problem so far has just been tight in the center and loose on the throttle on that last pit stop before we went under the red flag. They did make an air pressure adjustment. Jeff Gordon looking to make a win here this season. He is winless so far. Seemed pretty excited about his car, so this could be the weekend that Jeff could get back to victory lane. It would be great to see. Hard to believe 39 races since Jeff Gordon has gone to victory lane and uh, that 14 year consecutive one streak in jeopardy. Mark Martin, who had such a good car. In fact, it was the same car he's got here when he led to over 60 laps back in April and had to pit with four laps to go but for fuel and gave the win away to Jimmy Johnson and was able to milk those last bit of fumes to victory lane. Jamie McMurray on the outside of the 12 car. McMurray has got one strong ride here. He led the first 21 laps today. See Dale Jr. right behind him, but Jamie McMurray tried a couple of times to pass Ryan Newman on the inside, couldn't make that work, so he went to the outside. Now here comes Jr. trying to make the inside pass. That's for fourth position. We have to remember back quite a ways go. It's been a while now, but Jr. And, and Jamie McMurray and these guys have four tires versus Ryan Newman's two tires. Kirk Bush only got two tires. And his car seems to work pretty well. I think that little rain delay actually played in his favor because he was in danger of losing the lead to Jimmy Johnson, and now he's pulled away for, for about a second or so lead. I look now, but there's Denny Hamill on the outside of the 88 car, jumped up there to try to make the pass and will make it stick up there. It's nice to see that high line being able to work today. That's going to give us some really, really good racing throughout this day. So Newman is fourth, Hamlin now fifth, Earnhardt Jr. sixth, and here is Carl Edwards trying to get by the 10 car of A.J. Allmendinger for 13th position. Let's go down to Mike. Well, you know, Doc, Carl Edwards has certainly been a streaky driver throughout the course of 2008. He's won back-to-back -back races three times this year, now going for three in a row, something he's never done, but he's pretty optimistic. Let's listen in. All right, guys, let's do it. We can do this. Edwards' car had been a little bit loose prior to that red flag, but he spent a lot of time debriefing with Bob Osborne during that rain delay, trying to work on corrections that may help him adjust for the rest of this race, Doc. Hamlin on the inside of the 12 car, trying to take a spot away, and you see Juan Pablo Montoya getting racy up there, trying to move in on Carl Edwards, as is Kevin Harvick. You got racing all over the track. You got Junior on the outside of Denny Hamlin over there in turn two. Yeah, he's paying him back, and Junior's going to make it three oh, wide right there. The nice table. move. Got it. Made a great run right there. Kind of paid Hamlin back for jumping on the outside of him when he was trying to pass Ryan Newman. Junior's made that pass of both of them. Edwards trying to get underneath Almendinger. Montoya says, I'm going to go to the high side. Here comes Harvick in the 29 car on the bottom of the racetrack to follow Edwards through. Man, oh, we heard, yeah. We heard Carl talking about he wanted to get to the front where the race was a little easier. These guys <laughs> race hard back here. They're serious about it back there. Montoya, and you know he wants to go. He's had some really good cars here recently. Doesn't have the finishes. Matter of fact, he doesn't even still have the cars to show for it because he got taken out or had something happen late in some races. Looks like he's on the move again today. This is 13th through 16th, his battle here. Harvick back in 16th position. And all these guys are on their own agenda. You know, they don't care that there's a championship battle going on. They need to win. They need to win this race for their sponsor, their team. They're not going to do anything stupid, but they're going to race these guys hard. 
See Harvick racing Carl Edwards off the corner here. He's got the better of him off, off of this turn. See Tony Stewart moving in there underneath the 99 car. These are valuable spots, and uh, there goes Stewart by. We talked about how uh, important qualifying was and track position at this racetrack, this flat one mile oval. Carl starting back in 15th position and having trouble getting up there. Yeah, it is critical. And you can see up front now we've got uh, Kirk Bush. He's got two tires, but he's got that track position and he's able to get out there. Yeah, look right behind him. There's Jimmy Johnson, but right behind Jimmy Johnson, he's got a mirror foil of Jamie McMurray coming at him. So he might not be able to get to that to uh, Kirk Bush and get the lead before Jamie McMurray is able to overtake him. Fast race car Jamie's got today. Point differential at the top of your screen. See Edwards now by based on being back in the middle of the pack, 164 points back of Jimmy Johnson. Johnson is second. Edwards being shown back in 17th position now. Jimmy Johnson in a great spot. Even though he hasn't led a lap, he's sitting in a great spot there in second. He's not going to worry about it too much. Here's 10th, 11th, and 12th. Casey Kane, Reed Sorensen, and Casey Mears. Yeah, another group right behind them. There's some serious racing going on right in this group. What's so great about this racetrack? You just have the opportunity to run these different groups. See guys down the apron, guys widening the racetrack out down there in one and two, making two and three grooves out of it. They really didn't, they weren't able to do this here in the first race as much. I think we saw that with the, the race with Knight, it, the track was cooler and everybody kind of went around the bottom. And now we're seeing these guys run all over the racetrack. Battle for fifth place. Danny Hamlin underneath the 12 car. Brian Newman, Jeff Gordon trying to decide who he's going to go with. Yeah, Denny's having a really hard time getting around Ryan Newman. You can see up in front of them, Dale Jr.'s pulled away by quite a bit after he was able to make that pass. But then he's just not able to get the grip that he needs off the corner. Jamie. Well, Doc, I think Ryan Newman's up for a little redemption. Remember just back last April, he started on the pole. He led 37 laps and then blew up on lap 134 and finished dead last. This team is all about getting back there and getting that win. They feel slipped away. Said the setup is similar to the spring. They brought a different car and so far so good. He started sixth and right now running fifth. Well, I tell you what, guys, we're down here in the studio watching this. We got a big tailwind down the back straightaway, and I see a lot of guys really getting into turn three very, very deep. Jeff Gordon keeps locking the tires up. A lot of guys moving to the top lane, and I think it's because of all this wind. You got to remember one thing going into turn three, the bottom lane really falls out from underneath it. That's the way this track is designed. And with the tailwind, it makes it double tough. Yeah, well, we're sitting here looking at this as they go down that back straightaway. They go off of this corner from our vantage point, and it looks like they drop off the side of a hill two or three stories going into that corner it's amazing with that wind it's really pushing the rear end of the race car around and i'm telling you guys when this track's cooled off a little bit i'm seeing a lot of guys grinding their splitters i think that there's more grip out there a lot of brake smoke out of some of these guys here using those brakes up here and we've got a lot of laps to go 248 laps to go real early to be burning these brakes up. Well, the one thing, and Rusty brings up a good point, is the wind is blowing down the back stretch, and that's the opposite of what we've had all week. It was blowing the other way every other day, so that's probably throwing these guys a little bit of a curve. Yeah, and the other thing is they're able to widen this racetrack out now, and they're getting such a really good run off the corner. They're carrying more speed along with that tailwind, so these guys make a great point and point out that how difficult it is in entering turn three. Carl Edwards had dropped back to 17th position. Now he's able to, or trying to get back around Tony Stewart to take a spot away. 31 car, Jeff Burton right there behind the 20 and the 99. And Carl might get boxed in here. Reed Sorensen's running that higher line that Carl's trying to utilize right now. What did Carl figure in the red flag? It racing back there. That's pretty wild back there. Yeah, he's in the middle of it right now for sure. See Jeff Burton don't drop into the inside trying to take that spot away. 41 car, Reed Sorensen at his 15th, Stewart is 16th, smoke out of the 99. Yeah, oh, that, that was break there. He, was got, he just tried to get in there hard and was going to try to make that move to split these guys. That just shows you how hard they're driving right now. They're not, they're not riding, they're driving hard. Yeah, Carl was able to get to the inside. That's what he was wanting to do. He's being held up by Reed Sorensen. Tony Stewart now able to get by the 41, but now Sorensen pulls Edwards on the straightaway.
We are 68 laps in, and it is Kurt Busch now, the leader. He has led the last 45 consecutive laps. Jimmy Johnson in second spot, and Jamie McMurray inching up a little bit closer each and every lap to Jimmy Johnson. You're watching ESPN on ABC.